I served in the Army. Uh, I served for, I was in ROTC for four years. Then after I was commissioned, I was on active duty for two years of that 20 months in Germany, and then came back and spent seven years in reserves. I blame so strongly the military that, that I served on the World Board of Governors of the USO. And the USO, of course, was founded during World War II to help the military, uh, both at home and abroad, and have the military canteens and so forth. And the Secretary of Defense gave me the highest civilian award that can be awarded from the Department of Defense and for distinguished service for the three years I served as chair of the USO. From the bottom of my heart, I believe that we have to take care, particularly those coming back from, from overseas or all of the people coming out of the military. We have to do everything we can to help because they, they have not had the chance to network and so forth while they're in, in the military and we have to make up for that. I had been going out of the country for 20 months, almost two years, and I came back and, you know, in 20 months, you really, when you're overseas, you really lose contact with a lot of people. You don't really know the positions that are open and so forth, so I had to do a lot, a lot of scrounging to try to find the, the job that I wanted, and, uh, uh, you know, you lose contact in those 20 months you're overseas. We can't expect people to go away and serve it many years in the military or a number of years in the military and then come back and not have anything to do. And, and employment is really very, very important. We do care and we want to do everything we can to help that service person coming back to make sure that they have an adequate job and have a job available to them.